We have a transmission from a TL Type S Acura, uh, Justin Muir's uh, vehicle was brought in with slippage condition present. Uh, a couple of things we observed, you know, in the, uh, the filter itself, pretty packed up with material. Uh, the unit got very, very hot. Uh, we see the clutch components are black and burn up. Uh, some of the uh, clutch components, you see the black on that, and some of them are just very, there's no clutch material left, whether they delaminate or not, it's tough to tell. Um, steel, steel's got chewed up a little bit. Uh, one of the other things we see is uh, these things, the five-speed Honda slash Acura transmissions have a uh, low gear assembly that rides on the Sprag. So when material gets in there, there's lack of lubrication. We got wear on this component that's going to necessitate its replacement and also the Sprag's replacement. Also, we see a little wear pattern here, which is uh, not normal. Maybe it got hot at one point and started to push that up and distort it. You see how that's off there. So that was rubbing where it shouldn't have been. Um, and so it just needed to be knocked down there, but that was definitely not correct. Whether this unit was rebuilt before or not, it's tough to say. Um, another area that can be a problem in these is movement of these bearings in the case. Uh, sometimes, you know, the bearing movement can actually create uh, noise from the transmission and wear. So here we have this bearing and this movement is a problem. So we got this, uh, this bearing has some movement, but not as much as the uh, other one. But you can see I can actually spin the outer race. So <clears throat> we can get a case half with a machine around this. They sleeve it and then put the bearing back in. And what that'll do is that'll that'll help to uh, ensure that the bearings are held in a proper location because these bearings support the shafts in the unit. There's one shaft, there's two shafts, and then there's the, uh, the third, third shaft there. So the relationship of these components and the way that the gears engage uh, with one another and mesh is absolutely critical. And the way that you can make you know these gears not mesh correctly is when you have bearing movement so in addition to typical rebuilding items we're going to have some uh, hard parts requirements uh, including the uh, low gear sprag assembly and also see about the uh, the case half